everyone, welcome back. Today is day five of Vlogmas and I decided that I'm going to be doing a review on Carry On by Rainbow Rao. I do apologize for not uploading last night. I was sick and so I wasn't able to upload my Vlogmas Day 4 video so I uploaded it this morning but that's alright. That just means that I'll upload two videos today. This video is going to be a non-spoiler book review of Carry On. Carry On is Rainbow Rowell's first fantasy novel. She usually writes a lot of contemporary and this is actually a spin-off from the book Fangirl which she wrote. In Fangirl, our main character Kath, she writes fan fiction for the Simon Snow series which is their version of Harry Potter. Throughout this book we get snippets of Kath's fan fiction along with snippets of the true story of Simon Snow which was written by Gemma T. Leslie which is an author created by Rainbow Rowell. Well, Rainbow Rowell decided that she was going to write basically her own fan fiction of Simon Snow, and that's where we get Carry On. No, you don't have to read Fangirl and to read this. I really loved this story. It is similar to Harry Potter. They're supposed to have the same ideas. Got a magic school. There's a boy. He is the chosen one to destroy this evil force that's taking over the magic world. But it's its own story and its own spin on kind of the Harry Potter story. This book is very creative and it's its own unique story. I love the way they do spells in this book. Follow our main character, Simon, who is considered to be the chosen one, but he is a terrible wizard. Anything that could go wrong does when he does magic. Well, he's basically chosen to be the one to defeat this terrible force called the Insidious Humdrum. But there's also a twist in the plot. Simon has a roommate named Baz, and Baz actually happens to be a vampire and Simon's enemy. So it really makes for a creative and unique story. This book is pretty fast paced. It moves along really quickly. I was a little intimidated at first because I thought it was going to be, it's going to take me a little while to read because it is a little chunky, but I think I read this book in two days because it just goes by so quickly and I actually ended up rereading parts that I loved because this book is just, it's so fun and sassy and you can't help but fall in love with the characters and the story. This book is also very heavily action-packed. There's always something happening in each scene, which is why it makes the book read so quickly, which I actually really like. So it's another reason why I love this book. I don't like a lot of downtime in my books. I just like my books to keep the pace up and move along quickly. This book has multiple point of views. We have Simon's point of view, which is our main character. We're also given Baz's point of view. We get a little bit of Penny's point of view, and we get the point of view of Agatha, which is Simon's girlfriend in this story. As I mentioned before, the magic system is very unique. When we were getting snippets of Simon Snow's story from Fangirl, it, to me, it was actually annoying because I felt like it was taking away from the story of Fangirl, but this story is different than what we were getting from Fangirl. I like how spells are cliches, and the older the cliche or the more used it is, the more powerful the spell is. It just shows how much power words can actually have. So they use like up, up, and away or clean as a whistle, and nursery rhymes are actually some of the more powerful spells. It just shows how creative and unique this story really is. Okay, so let's discuss the characters a little bit. Simon, I really enjoyed Simon. He's very laid back and just kind of goes with the flow, but he's also extremely paranoid and he's obsessed with his roommate, Baz. Baz is my favorite character and I loved reading from his point of views because because he's snarky, he's sarcastic, he's actually very intelligent, but he's also kind of standoffish, and he's pretty prideful. He makes for a really interesting character, and it's very entertaining when we read from his point of view. I really liked Penny. I felt like she was very mellow, and, but she's also bubbly, and she's intelligent, and her and Simon are just best friends. Penny really cares about Simon, and she tries so hard to protect him. Agatha's another character that we see 
a pretty decent amount of but to me she was just annoying and irritating and I didn't care too much for her also the mage I wasn't sure how I felt about the mage. I didn't really trust him. I wasn't sure if I was going to like him or if I was going to not like him. The mage is kind of an ambiguous character. As the book goes on, more of his character is revealed. I also adored the romance in this book. I thought it was so cute and so sweet and at times funny and awkward. Well, that is it for my book review on Carry On by Rainbow Rowell. Like I said, this book was amazing. I loved it. I definitely recommend you reading it. If you like Rainbow Rowell's books, then I think you'll really love this one. I gave it a 5 out of 5 stars, and I hope you guys enjoy it as much as I did. As always, comment down below and let's discuss what you guys thought of this book, and I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Bye!